So in the previous video, we create a new block uh, with a title and a body. Today, we're going to add in draft, um, the field draft, which is a Boolean field. Um, and then this will allow, it's going to be a checkbox that will allow you to say whether the post is a draft or not. Okay, so in your um, terminal, um, in the block post project, um, let's start up your server, so mix phoenix dot server. Okay, so now it's started on port 4000, so let's that localhost port 4000. Um, go to your posts. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is when we create a new post, we want to have that draft button right there. So notice when you in your um, terminal, uh, when you look at the get post request, it's saying it's being processed by the post controller, um, the new function of the post controller. So let's open up, um, whoops, my bad. Uh, so let's open up a, your text editor, um, the project. And then open up the controller and open up the post controller. And um, so it's saying it's being created in the new. So in the new function, notice here we have a uh, the change that for an empty post. Uh, and then it's saying to render new.html. So that's new.html is in your template under post. So notice um, post controller match up with the folder name post here. So new.html, notice in here, um, it's saying it's going to render the form.html. So that's right here. Okay. Um, and this is where we want to be. Here we have the title and have the body. So we want to create a new view called uh, draft. Okay. So I'm going to say draft. Um, and notice here, um, the body is the text area, but we want it to be a uh, checkbox. So you can create the HTML yourself, or you can you go to Phoenix HTML document, um, and then click on Phoenix HTML form, scroll down a little bit, you can check out uh, what uh, Phoenix HTML will generate for you. So notice you have email form, um, color input. So what we want is just a check form and um, you just need a the form and then the field. So right here, we're going to change it to check um, checkbox, I believe. Yep, so checkbox and then we give it the form and then the field. And then these are the options. Okay, so then let's refresh our page and then see, look, so here draft is, um, now we have our checkbox. So here we're going to say hello 2016, and then hit submit. Notice that it submitted, but then um, the field wasn't saved. We don't see anything here. That's because we haven't done anything. Um, so here um, it's saying when you do a post to post, um, it's going to hit the create function of the post controller. And notice here's the params that's being passed in. The draft is being passed in as true, but we didn't insert it into our database. Um, so notice the only thing that we inserted is the body and the title. So in our controller, we have um, this create function and we're saying the first one we're ha expecting a connection and the second one the params were expected to have um, a post map and that post map will contain all the post params and then we're going to pass that post param into um, our chain set which will then validate do validations for us and pretty much and anything else that need uh, to be checked. And then once we have that chain set, um, we can insert into the database. And then if um, the insert was good, we say the post was created, otherwise we give an error um, and we render the form again. So now let's open up in models, open up posts. And notice chain set down here, um, it does a cast on the required field and then optional fields. So if you look at the uh, requires field, we only have title and body and optional field. We 
didn't pass in draft, so that's why draft is not being saved. So what we're going to do is I uh, want to say uh, draft right here. So I want to say they're going to have, um, and then up here in the schema, um, I want to say there is a field called draft and it's a Boolean field. So this will just refer to our application. Uh, we also need to create a migration. So I'm just going to stop our server. So if you type in mix ecto.gen.migration, um, I'm going to say add draft to posts. Okay. Okay, so notice now it create uh, the migration file for us. So if you open up perf repo migrations, here's our draft one. So add draft to post. Um, and then here's our change. So then what we want to change, uh, what we want to do is um, change the database, right? So let's see how we can do that in through Ecto migration. Uh, so if you click on Ecto, click on migration. Uh, let me see functions. Uh, actually here, look, uh, the first function that we want is we actually want to add a column. So this is the instruction on how to do it. So just say auto table alter table uh, post and do and then an n um, so what we want to do is we want to add a new uh, so add draft and that's going to be a boolean okay um, and then let's do mix ecto dot migrate so then we can add that Yep, so now it alter the uh, table post. So now it will, um, we have that field, and then in here we say we do want to save, um, we do want to save the draft field, and that field is a Boolean field. Um, and so let's run our server, mix phoenix dot server. Okay, now it's run. Um, so here let's create a new post. Notice our draft field is there. I'm going to say hello. This is a draft. And I'm going to say draft is true. Uh, we don't see anything right here because we didn't see it. But then if we go back to edit, uh, notice now we have that checkbox being saved. And then if I uncheck it, okay. And then if I edit, notice the box is gone. So then now let's add that field onto the show post. So if you go back to your terminal, notice the show is a get, uh, and then it's being processed by the word show. So if you go to your controller, post controller, um, go down to show and say, notice when we do a show, uh, we pass in a ID. So that's the parameters. Um, ID is two, so that's what I'm saying. We're expecting an ID and from the database we got the ID um, we get a post with that ID and we're gonna render show so if you go down to templates and down show um, so here um, what I'm just gonna do is copy this right here uh, so instead of body we wanna say draft instead of that we're gonna say draft okay so then now it should show up Yep, which is true. So then if I do check, submit, um, notice now draft is becoming true. So then um, the other, you can also add um, the other field onto here. So that is in the post. So notice when I do a get post, uh, that's being processed by index. So post controller, go back here. Um, index is all the way up here so notice on the post controller it get all the posts um, and it's showing the index so in post controller index so now we want to add a new f um, field that's going to be draft that's going to just going to be the header and then down here we're going to have um, the body the value actually so notice here um, executing um, elixir code that's why I have that uh, lesser than percent equal sign so equal sign mean to show it um, so if you don't want to show the code 
and the execution codes uh, don't put an equal there. So draft, so then now if I go back here, notice now I have draft is true. So then the other thing that you can do is let's um, open up your router. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a get request and I'm just going to do um, draft along. Okay. Sorry. I want to say post and just give me all the draft posts. So tell post controller and then the draft function to handle this. So draft. So post controller. So I'm just going to put it right beneath here. Uh, def draft. Tech in connections. Um, I don't care about the param, so I'm just going to do that. And um, and so here, what we need to do is we need to do a query that say from post, sorry, post in post where um, post dot draft go true. Okay, and then here. Notice I'm just copying, I'm going to copy this. So post equal, actually, let me just copy that. Okay, um, so instead of post right here, which is going to say execute my query instead. So then index is just going to display the drafted post. So let's try that out. Uh, hopefully I don't have to refresh. So if I just say post draft, notice now I'm only seeing um, the post with the draft true. So if you want to find out um, how to do the query um, like this, you can go to Ecto and then do query, search for query. And um, here they have documentation on how you can write the queries. And that's pretty much it.